from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for October 2024. On October 13th, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, moving out of the flip-flopping, teeter-tottering, back and forth, indecisive energy of Libra. And we are doing a deep dive in the fixed water sign of Scorpio. So this is going to be a major, major change, major change in our mood, in our attitude, in our focus. Now, let's just talk about the fact that Mercury in this Libra energy that we've been sitting in. Again, we've had a lot of different thoughts on how to balance our lives out, how to, you know, kind of implement some different solutions that will help us bring a certain order to the craziness, to the chaos. We've definitely been percolating in our inner realm with some words that we need to get out of our body, get off of our chest in order to smooth things over, especially in relation to that eclipse season that we just had that kind of shook up soul contracts and definitely emphasized where there were relationships dynamic issues. So now moving into Scorpio energy, again, a fixed water sign, we're looking to stabilize, we weren't able to find balance, peace and harmony in our thoughts and our ideas in our solutions while in that Libra energy. And so the fixed signs definitely kind of, you know, kick in and help us to stabilize. But here's the thing. Scorpio is all about our intuition and our intuition is going to be coming online here very, very strong. Mercury, our intellect, Scorpio energy, our intuition, they're going to be working together in order to peel back the layers of some confusion that again, we've been sitting in because of eclipse season, we're going to start kind of seeing where the pieces are snapping together, revealing the greater grander picture. And of course, putting us in a situation to understand the questions that we now need to ask in order to get the answers that we need in order to be well informed. Here's the thing, we're seeking truth, even if it's dark, even if it's corrupt, even if it's tainted, even if it's hurtful, we're looking for the truth of the matter. And because Scorpio energy is ruled over by Pluto, the great transformer, we are peeling back the layers on all that is hidden. We have to uncover, if you will, the darkest parts in our mental plane, in our heart space, in our circumstances, in order to know what we're actually dealing with. And because Pluto actually just came out of his retrograde and went direct in Capricorn energy, we love Capricorn energy and Scorpio energy working together because that means that there's going to be a major change, a major transformation in our physical realm that will lead us to growth. So here we have Pluto for the next couple of weeks in this Capricorn energy, helping us to wrap up the chapters of the past, helping us to take action and make moves in power and authority to control particular aspects in our physical realm in order for a major change in our physical realms to actually take Take place by the time we hit November 19th when Pluto moves on into Aquarius energy. We have Mercury in the Scorpio energy triggering new insights, triggering this new knowing. Okay, so we were very uncertain about a lot of things. Well, in this Libra energy, Scorpio energy, we don't know how we know, we just know. And there's going to be this intensity because, of course, intensity is the name of the game in Scorpio energy for us to actually be pivoting and do what we need to do as hard as it may be in order to A, put the past behind us and B, initiate some baby steps in a new path in a new direction. So we all put the detective hats on with Mercury moving into Scorpio energy. A lot of our thought processes, a lot of our communications are kind of probing. We have to kind of observe what's going on. We're recognizing where it is that some shadiness is definitely hiding some truth, some details, some elements from our awareness. And this is going to help us again, kind of ask the kind of questions that we need to be asking in order to get the answers that we need in order to actually feel like we are on the right path that we're coming to some sort of conclusion and solution to certain topics and themes so that we can actually move on in a particular plan in a particular strategy. I think it's very interesting because of course, Mercury who rules over the Gemini energy that Jupiter
Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings is now retrograde in, we're reflecting back on a lot of old topics and themes, old ideas, old goals, old vision, old knowledge, that now when we start asking the right kinds of questions, we're going to see those particular dots connect. And again, more puzzle pieces snap together. We are super sharp with this particular influence. We are super analytical and we are allowing our intuition to kind of take the lead. And so we can be kind of very obsessed about one particular topic and theme. Again, Scorpio energy, we do get fixated on particular topics and themes that again, we're trying to come to a truth to, we're trying to fully understand that we need to wrap our head around before we can actually move on and move forward. And the beautiful thing about this influence is that whatever truth is actually revealed, whatever details, circumstances are actually revealed, it's not gonna shock us. It's not going to, you know, put us in a tizzy, so to speak, because the Scorpio energy being about depth, being about all of these very heavy topics and themes, we're not surprised by much. And so it does give us a little bit of an edge, I would say, because we're not going to pop off. We're not going to be reactive. We're going to not even be surprised when some topics and themes come to the forefront. And we're going to be able to handle certain situations and circumstances with a little bit of coolness, a little bit of calmness. Now, again, just keep in the back of your mind that Scorpio energy is very psychological. And because Mercury's energy is very intellectual, we're definitely doing a deep dive in our psyche to unearth the old programming, the old conditioning, the old memories that are creating an energy blockage within us as of right now, preventing us from again, putting the past behind us and feeling confident enough to actually move on. So we're not afraid to kind of dabble in the darker places in those taboo topics and themes underneath this particular influence, because at the end of the day, we just want to get to the heart, to the truth, to the bottom of whatever barrel has been hidden away from us. And again, we're using our instincts to kind of guide us through the topics and themes, through the questions, through the train of thought in our mental planes in order for us to actually arrive at a totally new understanding, a new perspective. So this is definitely going to be a time where if there are secrets being hidden from us, we are going to definitely have those secrets revealed. If we are holding secrets within ourselves, it may be time to actually percolate on whether or not speaking our truth is kind of the time to be doing this. We have a little bit more I'm going to say digging to do. So this is going to be a great time to investigate, to research, to troubleshoot, and really kind of put ourselves in a situation to do some digging when our intuition kind of pushes us into a particular direction. And so this is, again, a time for us to kind of read between the lines to see the hidden layers kind of veiling the truth and for us to be asking the right kinds of questions of ourselves, of the people, of the world around us in order to gain as much information as we possibly can before making a decision, before initiating a new path, new plan, new strategy. So again, if you haven't listened to October's energy forecast, I'm going to recommend that you do that. And if you haven't downloaded your October energy guide for your specific Zodiac, I'm going to recommend that you do that that as well. This is going to be a very important aha time for us where a lot of the things that we've been confused about are coming smack dab in our faces.